It's been great being the first uh, one to launch the uh, 4G WiMAX uh, network uh, in the region. Uh, but the learning curve has been very steep. The biggest challenge that we experienced for the last uh, 18 months or so was really that uh, when we first launched the uh, Suda Potong campaign. This was when the, I think that uh, the subscriber search, uh, you know, that uh, the utilizations uh, of the network uh, increased tremendously. We were having a lot of challenges, uh, you know, to come back to fulfill the customer's uh, uh, requirement. Uh, uh, it, it, overall, I think that we have uh, disappointed our customer. But not only that, I think that internally, uh, we, in, we disappointed uh, ourselves. Yeah. So, it was really that, that hard time, uh, the challenges that we face, actually forcing the team uh, to come together, yeah? and to come together to, uh, to improve uh, not only the network, you know, uh, also the customer service uh, you know, the, as a whole. Today, you know, the, our network uh, carry a much bigger number of subscribers. You know? The usage of our network is uh, much higher, but I think that we are handling uh, even better. When we were having the highest challenges uh, uh, moment, we, we realized there's only 60% of our network uh, fall under you know, the, the good quality, so-called good quality, uh, meaning that actually passed, passed the benchmark that we set to ourselves. On quarter to quarter basis, we have been improving. Say like next, uh, last quarter in Q4, we managed to bring from 60% all the way up to 80%. And today, we are actually at 95%. Uh, in order to improve our customers' experience, uh, we have done uh, a couple of keys, uh, key things. Uh. The first one being that the uh, uh, data traffic management. Yeah. So to date, I think that uh, we are being able to allocate our traffic, you know, based on the customer demand, based on the time that uh, the traffic is required. Number two, yeah, we have uh, just implemented the uh, latest uh, WiMAX uh, features on our network. Uh, with these particular uh, new features, uh, we're being able to actually uh, increase you know, that, uh, the bandwidth on our base stations uh, by 30%. So in the past uh, 12 months, we plan uh, on our uh, network deployment, not just mainly for the network coverage. Yeah? So 30% of our network expansions are really that on the capacity side. Meaning that's like we are putting that additional capacity into the existing coverage. Yeah, this will further enhance our existing customers' experience. Last but not least, uh, we also double up the capacity on our international traffic. To date, we have invested 720 million on our network. We have coverage up to 50% of the household uh, in Malaysia. SK Telecom, being the largest mobile operator in uh, South Korea. Uh, with a total subscribers of 28 million. Yeah. So having SK as a partner is just not purely from investment. They also have helped us to implement some of the best practices. 3G is a good technology, uh, but, but again, 3G is 10 year old now. Right? So uh, 4G, is, which is the latest technology, is uh, coming with uh, easily five times more uh, bandwidth uh, you know, compared to 3G. So 4G is really built for broadband.